if the most recent advertising from Balenciaga does not piss you off as a red blooded human being, something is wrong with you. Completely wrong with you. Cause I am hot about it. I literally just found out about it yesterday, but, um, I, and I put up a post about it and I am just, I'm blown away. I'm not shocked or surprised because of, you know, how they operate and do what they do. You know, the, the big brands and all of that. But I am so angry that this even had the opportunity to happen. How about that? Let's just start there. This country, uh, this community, this, these social media street, everything has become so ratchet, disrespectful, nasty and perverted that they are literally fighting extremely hard to desensitize us from those things that are just morally, ethically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, psychologically wrong, completely wrong. This ain't about you being a free spirit and doing what you want, how you want, with who you want. This is flat out wrong, completely wrong. Share this video, share this video. My name is Portia Wilkins. I am a purpose midwife. I am a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. I believe in God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the word of God, which is the Bible. I believe that the principles of God are laws, are true, are facts, and regardless of how old the Bible is, 2,000 years plus, it is still alive today. I don't care what they tell you on the news, what these gurus tell you on social media, it is not played out to keep a kingdom. It is, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Actually, matter of fact, that's what you want to do. That's what you need to do. Um, because the way of the world is wrecked, is messed up. These fools have lost their mind. They are crazy, completely crazy and have lost their mind. Hey, y'all, um, share this video. We're on Facebook all over and um, we're on YouTube as well. I'm going to put this video on my website, PortiaWilkins.com. Um, so you can see it there too, just in case Facebook get mad at me and uh, take this video down. So I just came across the whole Balenciaga thing uh, yesterday. And I like, I can't keep quiet about that. Like, how can you keep quiet about that? Why is nobody talking about this? Especially you black pastors and people in ministry who run around here in your pulpit thinking you flying cute wearing this stuff. Like, how can you be silent? How can how can you be quiet about that? You want to speak up and yell about everything else, but you're not saying anything about this? Like how? It's disgusting, completely disgusting. So I put up a post. If you don't know, you need to go and find out. Though I'm talking to you kingdom folks. I'm not going to go back and forth with none of you people who don't believe, uh, who, who don't think you know the Bible is real, who don't believe in the word of God. I'm not talking to you. You're not my people. So don't even worry about it. I'm talking to the believers. Those of you who believe in God, who believe in his word, who say you pray to him, I am talking to you. At some point in, in your life, you're going to have to decide which side you're going to be on. Because here's the deal about it. I don't care who is doing wrong. I don't care how wrong, how much wrong is popularized. I don't care what celebrity is on the bandwagon of wretchedness. Under no circumstances, because I'm, I'm because right is still right, even if no one is, and wrong is still wrong, even if everyone is. Period. There's no sugarcoating that. There's there's no working or getting around that. So Balenciaga, this brand of, of fashion, ugly fashion at that, like they stuff was ugly. It never was cute to me in the first place. And now I know why my spirit can never like connect with them and their brand. You know, I don't care what celebrity wear it or who promote it or whatever. The stuff is ugly. Um, y'all wear anything with a label. The stuff is ugly. 
and you just wearing it thinking you're cute. The shoes are ugly. Purses are ugly. The clothes are it's just ugly. You think you're cute and you're not. And so these fools, Balenciaga, is running around here promoting child pornography and child sacrifice in their campaigns, in their runway shows, in their advertising, everything. And let me let me tell you why this is a problem and why I qualify to, to, to speak on this. Because when you talk about retail, I know about retail, okay? I started my retail career when I was in high school. I worked in the stores. I was running a cash register. And I worked my way all the way up to the corporate level. I worked for an $8 billion company. I managed $1.4 billion of that $8 billion myself, okay? Obviously, me and my team of people that I work with. But that's what I oversaw. We sold bras and panties. There wasn't a decision about a bra, a panty, anything that was not thoroughly discussed. I mean, down to the color of thread that was used to make the bra or to make the panty, every detail was thoroughly reviewed, thoroughly discussed. I was one of 10 merchants for that company. We would have merchant meetings. It would be the 10 of us merchants with the CEO of the company in a big conference room round table. And each department will come in. The marketing team, the marketing team, um, the design team would rotate during our meetings, come in and sit with us to discuss the current uh, brand, the current design collection for that season. You had... Line review, design review, style review, all of these reviews literally would take six months to a year to finish one collection before it hit the stores. While right now, let's say we are in 2022, the have already planned out 2025. 2025 is already in production. 2023 is already getting ready to be shipped out. It's on the trucks waiting to hit the store. Some of it is already still in, okay? 2024 is already been completed. So this is how far in advance retailers, okay? They don't plan out a year within a 90 day to six month time frame. No, they are multiple years ahead of the game. And every detail about that product is thoroughly, thoroughly discussed and talked about. It has to be checked off. So Balenciaga's statement, because they have these pictures of children holding up teddy bears that are wearing whips and chains and stuff. They got pornography laid out, sex toys, all this stuff around these children who were standing there wearing Balenciaga's clothes, smiling. In one picture, they had the court documents where the Supreme Court ordered this freedom of speech for child pornography online. Mocking the system, mocking the system. The top designer for Balenciaga and their campaigns is the one who posted these pictures. Uh, she's wearing a, a shirt on her Instagram, which has now gone private. It's talking about she's a cannibal. She's sitting in a church wearing a sweater saying that she's a cannibal. Mocking the believers, mocking us. This is how bold and audacious they are. They have... Uh, pictures of people sitting around satanic pentagons holding bloody children looking like kids have been massacred everywhere this is their marketing campaign for shoes for t-shirts for dresses for skirts that go in nordstrom that go in sacks that go in the galleria that go in all these malls and places all over the world that you go in the debt to buy that you get in credit cards that you line it up that you twerking in in your videos, that you're doing the most on, that you're standing in your pulpit wearing, all of that stuff is rooted in the demonic. It's rooted in all things satanic. They are sacrificing and promoting the sacrificial murder of children. The designer of these products, the same one who posted these pictures, posted a picture of a baby that has been murdered and in her caption oh instagram 
the caption says, hashtag Molech. If you do not know who that demon is, read your Bible. Leviticus chapter 18 talks about it where God says you will not sacrifice children to the demon Molech. If you have had an abortion, if you have committed murder of any kind or done any harm whatsoever to a child, the blood that has been shed of that child has been done in a sacrificial worship to the demon called Molech. You now have a demonic covenant with that demon and have released a spirit of death over you and your entire family. I'm talking to believers. I'm talking to you people who claim you kingdom. I'm talking to you pastors who jump in the pulpit every Wednesday and every Sunday begging for offering, making people feel shame because they've got pen enough and tithes and offerings so you can go buy you some Balenciaga. So you can go buy you some Gucci, who is also owned by the same umbrella company as Balenciaga. And there are other brands too, Adidas as well has a campaign and in partnership with Balenciaga. And you wear this stuff and you think you cute. You think you slaying for the ground while you wearing clothes that represent the slaying of innocent children's lives. It's sickening. And let me tell you something about yourself, Facebook. I put up a post with screenshots and a screen recording of the actual pictures that were posted on Instagram by Balenciaga and their top designer. And do you know, I wake up today and Facebook has blocked the blurred out the video saying that it's false information. How you find my posts? But you can find the original posts where this stuff was originally shared on Instagram, you didn't blur that. You didn't block that Facebook. You let that sit up there. But my po my little old, my my post, I don't even have ten thousand followers on Instagram. But you but you find me. You find me, okay? I got about what a, a fifteen twenty thousand here uh, on Facebook. You find me. <laughs> You find my post and try to penalize me, but you don't say anything to the original post. You own Instagram and you let this stuff sit up there. You talk about the community guidelines for Facebook and the community guidelines for Instagram to uphold this and uphold that. And you letting them post this foolishness. You know why? Because you just as guilty. You know why? Because you believe in this mess too. How can anyone see that mess and not get their spirit stirred up and get mad? Like, I, I can't, it, I mean, guys, look, I'm going to post it in the comments because you're not going to be able to see it uh, from my phone. But like, I took screenshots of all of those posts. Like, look at this demon. Look at this witch. This is the witch right here. The designer. Look at that. She's sitting in the church wearing a shirt that says cannibal corpse in blood. Look at that. Look at this mess. It's demonic. It's satanic. This, this is the one where she put hashtag Molech. Hashtag Molech. Look, let me zoom in for you so you can see. Hashtag Molech. You see that? Molech. Oh, you Christian people. You Jesus people. You crazy. Oh my God, you prophets. You're always talking. You know, you ruin all the fun. You know, you don't want people to just live, be free. You, we just want to be free. Love is love. There is nothing lovely about children holding stuffed animals that are in bondage. I'm not even going to show the pictures of the kids on here, but you can see it. It's all, I mean, it's been screenshots all over the internet. People are just now talking about it on these little uh, TV shows and all this stuff. Uh, Kim Kardashian is a big promoter of Balenciaga and people are like, oh my God, Kim, why aren't you saying anything? Because she a witch. Her whole family, that's what they do. Chick got popular from laying on her back and getting on her knees in a sex tape for a dude that her mother helped her edit and promote. They sacrifice themselves for this. Humility, being publicly shamed and humiliated is a part of the sacrifice in Hollywood for you to get big. Now let's, and Will Smith is no different. 
the whole act that he did by punching Chris Rock at the Oscars. And now he has a movie and they're claiming that it's so good, his acting, that he's going to win an Oscar. I bet he's going to win an Oscar for this because he sacrificed with extreme humility, being completely um, um, not humble, but what's the word? Um, ashamed. What's the word I'm looking for? He was, he was completely um, humiliated. That's the word. On national TV. And that was his sacrifice to get the Oscar that he's about to win for this show. Everything that they do in Hollyweird is scripted. It's planned out. Everything that they do. And when you have brands like Balenciaga going to put up this stupid post, this old demonically manipulative crafted apology. Oh, we're so sorry. We're going to reevaluate the terms and conditions of how we produce and do things. And oh, no, we don't know how it happened. You do know how it happened. We're not stupid. No, we don't accept your apology. We are not dumb. People are not stupid. Don't be giving, you know what? This is just as bad as y'all posting in black squares during uh, all of the, the 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 black, I don't like to say the name of that organization with the three letters that start with the B and end with the M because they witches too. But during that whole time, I got caught up emotionally. I was pregnant and I'm thinking, oh, power to my people. Didn't even know. I was helping them witches out. Horrible. Jesus has forgiven me and I have forgiven myself and carried on. But Everybody was posting black squares and marching and doing all of this. Where's the where's the uproar? All of you popular pastors with your 8 million followers on Instagram and stuff with your fashions, you quiet. You real quiet right now. Why? You don't want to mess up your brand. You see my shirt, what it say? Right. Completely free. Free from the opinions of people who rather promote things that are perverted and demonic. I'm free from the opinions of people who rather promote, promote, promote pornography. I'm free completely so I can speak on these things. I'm not afraid to talk about it because I'm not trying to get you to give 8 million offerings to me on Sunday. So I can keep the lights. No, I'm free to be the me that God created me to be. You understand? So I can talk about these things boldly and call all of you out because this is wrong. All of it is wrong. This is what happens when you let the devil in. This is what happens when you try to normalize dysfunction. When you try to take wrong and make it right. Men dressing as women is wrong. It's sick. Women trying to dress like men and be men is sick. Is not right mentally, psychologically. It's wrong. And now, because we fight and push back as adults, they're going after us. And the reason why they can go after our kids is because y'all have been so accepting, so lenient, and so moving and allowing them. To you give the devil an inch, he's going to take a mile. You do not negotiate with the demonic. You do not let them in at all. They got drag queens in schools, reading to kids, teaching boys how to put on makeup and stuff. Matt Walsh has done an incredible documentary about this. See, the devil hates to be exposed. In the documentary, he's at a hospital convention where the top surgeon is talking about the mutilation of children, how they are cutting off the breast of young girls who woke up one day and said they wanted to be a boy, cut off their breasts, mutilating them for no medical reason whatsoever, chopping off the genitals of children as young as two years old. Two! Because this two-year-old somehow is mentally capable of deciding who they want to be. You know why they doing it? For money. She talks about it. This doctor explains the reason why they do it is because, quote, it makes a lot of money for the hospital. When you mutilate a genital, it's up to $40,000 for the hospital. It's a money game. And here you are promoting it. Here you are letting this stuff slide. Welcome to your life. Welcome to your life. Their goal is to get to the point where parents have no authority over their children. 
where the government and society can decide what happens with a child because shame on you for telling that child he doesn't know who he is at three and four years old. You don't know. You're 35 and you don't know. You're 42 and you're still trying to heal from the molestation that happened to you as a child. I know. I'm in ministry, casting out demons, praying over people, trying to help you get through all of this heartache and pain that you experienced as a child. You a grown man. You a grown woman and you still carrying the weight from that. But a child can tell you they want to do this. And I said, where were the parents for this photo shoot? And I saw in an article that the parents were there and said that the children felt safe and had a good time. All of y'all going to burn in hell with the devil that you worship. Every single one of y'all. Every single one of y'all. You have been desensitized, people, to think that what's wrong is right. In psychology, desensitization is a treatment or process that diminishes emotional responsiveness to a negative, adverse, or positive stimulus after repeated exposure to it. Every commercial I see on TV about AIDS has a gay man in it, kissing, hugging, fornicating, flirting with another gay man. They want to desensitize you to it. Because the spirit of... Now, I, I know that there are gay people who don't agree with child pornography. Majority of them became gay because they were molested as a child. That's the spirit of perversion. So, but what they are now doing is saying, okay, because it's all perversion... Let's take this issue here and add this to it. Do you know the, the, the letters for the, for the gay and lesbian folks? They are now adding MAPS, M-A-P-S, which stands for Minor Attracted Persons, a.k.a. Pedophiles. By calling it Minor Attracted Persons, they are trying to desensitize us to understanding what it really is. Desensitization also occurs when an emotional response is repeatedly evoked in a situation in which the action tendency that is associated with the emotion proves irrelevant or unnecessary. The process of desensitization was developed by psychologist Mary Cover Jones and is primarily used to assist individuals in unlearning phobias and anxieties. They are saying you have a phobia. That's why they call it homophobic. It's a phobia. So in order for you, them to get rid of the phobia, not a, not, it's not a belief in the word of God. It's not that. They're trying to, they have tried to rename it as a phobia. So in order to desensitize us of that phobia, they have to now repeatedly put it in your face, put it in your face. It's in TV. It's in movies. Now it's in kids' movies. I didn't say, I can, no, Aiden, you can't watch the new Buzz Lightyear movie. Because now the girl in Buzz Lightyear, they got a kiss and sing her two mamas. No, my son is being raised to know the godly way of doing things. God is ahead, the husband, male, natural born male, wife, natural born woman, and then our children. Period. There are two genders, male, female, all that other stuff. No, I'm not going to call you no wolf. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. When you have people, grown adults, saying, I identify as a cat. And it's gotten to the point in some schools in some cities where when the children say, I identify as a cat, the teacher has to call them and respond to them like a cat. Otherwise, the teacher gets in trouble. So now they are teaching the teachers to lie to the children. That is a human. That is a child. That is not a cat. That is not a wolf. But because they decided, hey, I want to be that, they're playing make-believe. They're playing pretend because that's what it is. When you try to be something you're not, you're pretending. 
It's make believe. And now they're trying to force feed it to all of us. The devil is a lie and the truth ain't in them. I bind and rebuke it all by fire now in the name of Jesus. And I cast out every demon associated with it. I send an atomic bomb to every enemy that is promoting this, that is propagating this, that is elevating this, that is supporting this foolishness. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. And it shouldn't be on the watch of every blood-bought believer's watch either. But y'all scared. I ain't scared of y'all. God is my source. Everything and everyone else is a resource. Promotion comes from him, not you. He takes care of me, not you. He owns me, not you. So I can speak truth. The truth is what God says. Not none of this foolishness that these liberal people and everything else want y'all to believe. A baby is just a cluster of cells. A fetus is just a cluster of cells. It's not yet a human. If it's not a human, then what? The hell is it? A human is pregnant with a child. You cannot, as a human, get pregnant with a cat, bat, rabbit, or ferret. As a human, you cannot get pregnant with a cow, wolf, bear, lion, or tiger. As a human, you give birth, you create, you develop in your womb other humans. Everything produces after its own kinds. A farmer cannot plant a strawberry seed and expect an apple to grow. A farmer is not going to look at that strawberry that grew from that strawberry seed and say, you cute little apple. It's not going to look like an apple, nor will it taste like an apple. And no matter how much it tries to genetically modify it, it will never be an apple. No matter how much you try to genetically modify yourself, you will never be anything other than who God created you to be in your mother's womb. Because before he formed you in your mother's womb, he knew you. He set you apart, meaning your life started in the supernatural, in the spirit world. Your entire life was there. Then you were placed in your mother's womb. Because the sperm of your father met the sperm of your mother. There is no such thing as a pregnant man. That is a woman, biologically, who is now make-believing and pretending to try to be one. This is not hate speech. This is real. Wake up, people. Wake up. Because now it's gone beyond just an adult making an adult decision to sleep with whoever they want to, it's gone beyond that to now they are going after our children. They are going after the next generation. For those of you who follow my ministry and are believing for a supernatural pregnancy, that child of yours that you are praying, fasting, fighting, and believing to get pregnant with, they the devil wants your seed. He wants your seed. Before it enter the womb, if he can't get it then, he's going to go after it after it's born by this foolish propaganda that the world, America, is jacked up and promoting right now. Y'all are sick in the head. Completely sick. Completely sick. God gave me a word yesterday and he said it won't make sense. You will be seen. There is a war in the spirit realm that is taking place and is more prevalent than ever. I know those of us who have been in church, you hear it and you've heard it your whole life, but now based on the way the society is moving, they are now making it more visible. All this stuff that they're doing, all these satanic rituals, they used to do this behind closed doors. It's not a conspiracy theory, y'all. This stuff is real. There were people who had been caught up in that foolishness that broke away and are blowing the whistle. This stuff is real. They are doing this in real life. The devil exists. These cults exist. 
Balenciaga just showed you the game that they play. All of them. This is what they do. And they want your child. They want your son. They want your daughter. They want your niece. They want your nephew. They want your child. They want to pervert them. They want to manipulate them. They want to molest them. Sex trafficking, human trafficking, all of those things. Oh, freedom of speech. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's satanic. It's demonic. It's evil. Don't let them desensitize you to this. Don't let them allow you to be manipulated to believe what's wrong is now right. Because it's not. And those of you who stand with them, who stand by them, you will be judged by God alone. You will be judged. I don't own anything Balenciaga. Thank God I do not. Adidas, you got to go. I love me some Adidas. I did, man. I love the little three stripes or whatever. I got a cricket machine. I'm about to make my own stripes. How about that? How about that? Ugh. Y'all, this word is messed up. If you're not praying and fasting, you need to start. And you need to stop listening to these fools on TV that are constantly pushing this agenda. Who you think own the media? Who you think own it? And what you think they do behind closed doors to have the platforms that they have and promote what they promote? All of these people on these big news stations, y'all are buying into what they're saying and believing it is truth, arguing with friends and family, mad about the uh, the jab and all of that. Oh, you can't come over if you don't get it because the man on the news said this, the doctor on the news said that. They are reading teleprompters. They get paid millions of dollars to read the words of other people. Read the words that other people write and tell them to say. They're puppets. They're robots. They're just doing what the master said do so they can collect their check and, and pay their bills at home and, and have their fashions. They get paid millions of dollars to tell you whatever they are told to tell you. And y'all are taking this stuff on as truth. Taking it to heart, watching it for educational purpose instead of entertainment because they are entertainment. It's funny. It's comical because it's foolish. Don't believe the foolishness, y'all. Don't believe it. Don't buy into it. Educate your family members, your nieces, your nephews, your children. It starts at home. The Bible says to train up a child in the way that they should go. So that when they are older, they don't depart from it. And the reason why he said that is because he knew this was going to happen. He knows how wicked the world is. So you train them up at home and the way that they should go. If they are on social media, they need to know the truth about all of this. They need to know the truth about the demonic. They need to know the truth about all of these uh, uh, covenants and, and rituals. They need to know the truth about all of this stuff. They need to know at home. So that once to it out, the Holy Spirit can make that shift, can give them that unction to know, to send off that alarm. Something ain't right. I'm nervous. I'm scared, but I'm going to choose different. It is your responsibility as a parent that way. So that even when they fall off and they make those bad decisions, they can always find their way back to what's right. They do believe what's wrong. They will always find their way back to what's right. Because if you don't raise their child, I know some, I know some demons. They work at Balenciaga and Gucci and all these other places who would be happy to take your little child who you have not properly groomed and raise them up in their sex cults, to perform orgies on them, to have them doing things at three, four, and five that you scared to do as an adult, sexually to other people, human trafficking, sex trafficking for them to be sold off as slaves. There's a whole army of people that would love to raise your child for you. 
And you may be thinking, my, they're not raising my child. What you think they're doing on TikTok? What you think they're doing on TikTok? TikTok is full of witches and wizards and warlocks doing all kind of mess with a little dance. Little ugly dance. What is that? Doing your little ugly dances. Meanwhile, worshiping demons with your fog and your smoke and your mirrors and your beads and your rocks and your moons and your stars and your sage and your chakras and all this other mess claiming you so deep and you so spiritual. No, you lost and you deep in the demonic. And you don't even know it and the mess ain't cute. Social media has been, it's changed so much. It's gotten so dark and evil. All these things are already going on, but now it's just more visible. They're becoming more bold about it. Because those of us who are believers, you're not acting free like you are. You free. Jesus paid it all. He died on the cross. You free. You're not a slave. You're not in bondage, but you're scared. You're scared to speak up. You're scared to say something because you're scared of somebody sending you a message. Listen, I believe in blocking. I'm in the block ministry so quick. You get on here talking crazy to me. I will block you online and offline with the quickness. You're not going to sit up here and come against what you know is right because you disagree because of how you feel. Don't nobody care about your feelings. If the word of God says it's wrong, then it's wrong. Care how you feel. Y'all better get it together. Y'all better get it together. You can do what you want in your house. But as for me and mine, we're going to serve and worship the Lord. Goodbye.